Hey, Silver Tubers, it's Mr. Z coming to you from the Silver Pouring Bench. I, uh, it's been a little while since I did a video, and I apologize to all of you out there in Silver Tube land for that. I've been so crazy busy at work, uh, and still fighting a little bit of the bug. Um, I got a package the other day, and I, I usually unbox immediately, um, but I didn't, and I apologize to 925 Stacker for that. Uh, I got this package in the mail. It was in the post office box. I got it, brought it home, and just I, I just didn't have the energy to to unbox it with everything that was going on. And so I'm going to go ahead and do a two-part video tonight. Um, first step, I usually will solely do an unboxing just because I believe that the person who mailed this to me deserves their own time. However, I had a coworker approach me the other day, a gentleman who used to work for me in, a, in the department that I ran before I changed departments, um, and he knew that I was big into pouring metals, and asked me if I would do him a favor. He had these uh, laying around, his gold crowns uh, that over the years he's had removed, and he asked me if I would be interested in melting them down and pouring them into just a little round or a bar or something for him. And so we're going to do that here in just a few minutes after we get this unboxing taken care of. Uh, this unboxing is from 925 Stacker. Um, I'm pretty excited about this. I've been very impressed with uh, his work from the very beginning. Um, he came out of the gate very talented, very much a, uh, a talented pourer. Um, and so... Uh, he's got, now apparently he's got COAs, um, and this is a uh, oh, little palm tree, 925 stacker. He's got his email address on there, and this is a 999 fine silver, um, and this is a 1.5 ounce domino bar, uh, poured on 1, 4 of 17, and this is 3 of 3 domino bars. Oh, three, it's a 3-3 three, three domino. I've played a little bit of domino, so I'm going to put that COA. That's a good-looking COA. I'm, I'm very impressed. Uh, you got the logo here. Um, this piece of silver art was hand-poured with great honor, extreme care, and absolute dedication at the Miami Silver Pouring Budget Bench by yours truly, 925 Stacker. Um... And so, let's have a look at this piece. Oh, look at that. It's nicely wrapped. You know, and sh when you ship a piece, oftentimes it's just as important how you package it um, as how long it takes to get to you because, you know, it can, be, it can get there overnight and if it's packaged poorly and it's bounced around inside the, uh, the package, it can actually end up damaging. But he is taking great pains uh, to make sure that this is in great condition when it gets to me so he uh double triple wrapped it so let's have a look at this here oh look at that Zoop. three and three man he really look at the back of that i've even, i've already got fingerprints on it my goodness that is like glass and there's his stamp 999 fine silver fantastically done fantastic that is a gasmic domino that is beautiful my friend it, that was well worth the wait he certainly does not uh, disappoint in his work um, and I mean for I mean you're talking about a guy who just started pouring and this is what he's cranking out there are great things uh, in the future for you my friend so there it is, the 925 39s dominoes. And this is uh three nines, and I've got three and three on this domino. Um so much work. I mean, I can tell he's done a lot of hand sanding and polishing to get that glass finish on the bottom, and I have just completely fouled it up. <laughs> oh man, wow. I mean, it's just absolutely unbelievable. I'm having to be very careful not to get myself in the reflection, but look at that. Great stamp placement, great work, clean edges, very nice, nicely done, 925. Thank you so much, my friend. I will put that in the community box. And we shall be back momentarily because we're going to pour some gold. So hang tight. 
So, we're over at the pouring bench now, and without knowing what the purity of this is, I went ahead and fluxed it up a little bit. Uh, I'm using my gold pouring, um, my gold pouring crucible. It's a little bit dirtier, um, just because every time I pour gold, I add a little bit of flux to it. I know that historically, at the gold buying shop, I have found that the, uh, the dental gold usually ranges right around in the 16 karat range it's got to be hard enough to not you know bend when you bite into it uh, but not so hard that it chips your teeth and so it's not quite 18 but it's not quite 14 it usually tests out in the 16 karat range um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and heat it up we're just gonna pour it into this round mold the simple graphite round mold because I really don't know how much these fillings are gonna yield um, I'm gonna go ahead and fire up the super torch and uh, I will be back when it's liquid. Now, when I come back, it's probably going to be good and loud. And so I hope everybody can bear with me. So hang tight. All right, we got it good and liquid. I'm heating up the mold. There's a little bit of, uh, a little bit of excess in that, in that uh, bowl. You can see now, but uh, you can't really because it's glowing. But we're going to go ahead and pour it. Hope nobody is squeamish, but there was a little bit of, uh, I think, teeth, I think uh, bone material left in there, but I can burn that out of the crucible. But we got ourselves a nice little, uh, nice little pour of gold. And so, came out really nice. I'm going to cool it, quench it real quick. And, uh came out to be a nice little round. If I can get the camera to focus here. Tell you what, I'll meet you back over at the silver porn bench and we'll have a look at what we got. All right, in conclusion on this Tuesday evening, I will show you the pour we got. This is the gold. This is the gold reclamation from the gold cat crowns and you can see the bottom side is really gold and the top side has a little bit of a silvery finish to it and i suspect that's just the metal separating but it's definitely gold um i might tumble it up a little bit but let's see what that little baggie of a uh, little baggie of gold crowns yielded so we got 21.5 grams so He's sitting at about 0.691 ounces troy of a blend of gold from his teeth, his crowns. So, but it's now a nice little round. And so I uh, will give this back to him. And actually, I'll probably test it at the gold buying shop tomorrow to give him a closer uh, purity on what it is. And then uh, it'll be his. And so. A gold tooth pour. I appreciate everybody watching. Like I said, I apologize. I haven't been posting as much. I've been so busy that I, uh, I have neglected my my uh, viewers and my fans and my friends. And so um, I just wanted everyone to know I was still out there. And it is good to be in touch from time to time. So cheers, everybody. I hope everybody has a wonderful evening. And I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of the week. Mr. Zeke at the Silver and Gold Tooth Pouring Bench. Cheers, everybody.